Now we need to connect the external cables to LIBCM. We're gonna start with the grid charger, which is taped onto the Arduino. So just go ahead and untape it. And then we're gonna come up and over and plug in to the mating Anderson connectors. If this cable is not long enough, then you haven't installed the grid charger correctly and make sure you go back and review that video. Next, we're gonna take the MCM E connector and plug it into the MCM's E connector, like so. And then we're gonna route through this hole here, like so, and underneath the grid charger. And then we can cut these wires to their final length. Uh, don't cut them too short. And we're gonna take about I don't know, seven millimeters off. The white wire connects to MCM E negative. All of the connections on this connector are high voltage. Once we turn the switch on and you know the system is running, and you need to make sure there are no loose wires coming out here. MCME positive is red. Again, make sure there are no frayed wires there. And then we're gonna hook up the grid charger wires. The grid positive is red. The grid negative is blue. And then we're gonna hook up the dim positive and negative. If you forget the pinout, it's written on top of the grid charger right here. So the dim positive is purple, and then the gray is dim negative. And then finally, we're gonna hook up the HVDC positive and negative wires. And so there's our negative, is black goes to pack negative. The red wire goes to pack positive. 